Welcome back to Barry Bros Cryptos. Today, just going to go over some farms that I'm in right now and what coins I'm accumulating during this down phase in the markets. So starting over here at Popsicle Finance, still in two farms, I uh, have about a little over 31,000 in combined between spooky and sushi LP tokens. And today I have $194 to harvest. All right, still on the Phantom Network over here on Spooky Swap. Uh, I'm still in the Boo FTM farm uh, with $4,773. Boo token holding strong above 350, uh, kind of ranging between 350 and $4 for a while now, and $19 to harvest today. So I'm still really bullish on FTM. I have been accumulating some down near the 20 to 25 cent range. We can pretty much see that we've been uh, in the 20 to 38 cent range since end of May. So consolidating there and then we drop to the bottom side of the range and it's been squeezing tightly here for a while and just broke out in the last few days up back up to almost 28 cents uh, a little bit of a pullback here uh, we'll see if we can continue to run up it's kind of probably determined on which way bitcoin uh, travels from here but bitcoin's kind of in the same boat it was consolidating in, in between 30 and 40k and now squeezing tightly between 32 and 36,000. which way is it going to break nobody knows but I think we're probably going to be testing the 40k range here in the coming weeks and months. But a lot of sideways action isn't terrible for farming. If you got into a farm down here somewhere, then you're probably doing pretty good. Some coins I've been accumulating during the down dip. Solana has been one of the strongest performing cryptos on the market. Had the big drop to 20 bucks and actually made a decent recovery back to 43, back down to 20 one more time, and now we're back to $36 as we're retesting this breakout of the triangle pattern it was forming for the last month. And if we can break up here, who knows, maybe we'll be back at all time highs and this will be one of the leading cryptos into the next part of the bull run. So Solana is looking pretty good, Polkadot, I've also been accumulating polka dot down here between 13 and 15 dollars uh, i missed the big run up from august alt season but now that we're back down at these prices i think it's a good time to pick some up as we move into DeFi summer 2.0 i think polka dot kusama solana phantom all going to be big ecosystems in the next DeFi craze as BTC hopefully gets back to a new all-time high by the end of this year. But moving back to the farms, we covered Popsicle and Spooky Swap, but going back to Popsicle here, as I did enter into the ETH Sorbetto Fragola, just to test it out. We went over that in the last video. I just wanted to go over a few more things on that. So we come over here to Sorbetto on the popsicle stand on the ethereum network and you can see i have a little over 2500 deposited in the popsicle lp tokens in the usdc eth liquidity pool and i've earned almost five dollars in the last day i just wanted to show you when you do decide to claim your fees that you've earned they are paying me in usdc and ethereum so it's probably one of the safest uh, places you can put your money in respect to impermanent losses that's not a stablecoin farm as your USD value is not gonna move too much as it moves you through different ranges on uh, Uniswap V3. So you don't really have to worry about a uh, farm value going down, but you also can't per se gain value from farm uh, your farm LP tokens going up. So you're basically just earning fees. It's almost like a stablecoin farm, uh, slightly riskier. APRs have came down a little bit as the range that we're in right now is not paying as much in fees, 
but that kind of differs day to day as the price fluctuates. So if you have some extra stable coins, suggest trying it out. We're still waiting on Sorbetta Limone on Phantom Network to come out. Uh, should be out in the next week or two uh, from what I'm hearing on Discord. And we'll see uh, what the difference is between Fregola and Limone. But uh, since Uniswap V3 is only on Ethereum, I'm kind of interested to see what Limone on Phantom is going to bring to the table. But we'll go over that in a future video once that's released. And I'll definitely be in those. All right, guys, Spirit Swap. We're still over in Spirit Swap. Uh, Spirit FTN LP. <clears throat> As you all know, Spirit Token hasn't been performing well, dropped sim significantly since uh, its uh, launch date, and it's been hovering between three and four cents for the last few weeks. Um, I've just been basically earning Spirit and either zapping it back into my farm or coming over to the staking and compounding it into my stake pool of Spirit. So I have uh, probably almost tripled my, my spirit that I'm staking uh, since I started. But as you know, the, uh, the dollar value has decreased significantly. So I'm probably just gonna keep compounding and see what happens in the future as they get more partnerships. They are one of the leading FTM AMMs and probably the best at uh, partnering and they're going to be coming out with a lot of new things here in the next few weeks, as uh, they've been saying on Discord. So keep an eye out on Spirit Swap, as they might be making some moves. All right, guys, back over here on Popsicle Finance one more time, as I'm checking out my BSC Ice BNB farm with 13k in the farm and $115.65 to harvest today so still looking pretty good over here on bsc on popsicle daily apr 0.7 so it has been a little bit more profitable over here on bsc than it is on phantom right now but i do have more on phantom as i think in the long run phantom will make uh, significantly higher exponential gains than bnb will but bnb will probably still do well Moving over to Pancake Swap, I did change up the farms a little bit in the past few weeks. I've entered a lot, probably just safer farms in general, um, but I saw Ellipses down near 35 cents and it was just an opportunity I wanted to take advantage of. Uh, it's back up to about 47 cents so sat down here uh 34 35 cent range uh picks them up here and we have moved up to over 50 cents making a small correction back to test support around 45 cents but i think it will continue rising from here as long as bitcoin doesn't dip down further but i have about 3800 in the farm and 34 dollars in cake to harvest today uh, we have an ROI of 0.4% uh, daily. Still pretty good, 162% APR for a EPS B&B farm. So we're gonna harvest that, another $34. And basically I've been moving all my cake into the auto compounding pool on uh, cake on pancake swap. I'd say it's working out pretty good so far as we look at the cake price. Uh, has been moving back up. It bottomed out around a little under $11 and we moved back up to 16 yesterday retraced a little bit today to just test the support at 1450 and looking for this to make some more moves up to about 18 to 20 dollar range in the coming week over here to the pools auto compounding cake pool it's not the highest APY you can find on Cake, but it is in Pancake Swap, so you know it's a little bit more safe over here. Looks like f I have five Cake auto compounded in the last day at seventy-three dollars and sixty cents, brings me up to one thousand one hundred eighty-six Cake staked in the pool at seventeen thousand four hundred thirteen dollars. I'll probably be adding 
once I just got to the pool. All right, that brings me up to 1,188.7 cake. And I'm just gonna continue over here at Pancake uh, Swap and just uh, accumulating as much cake as I can before we make some heavy moves to the upside. All right, guys, over here on Poly Crystal Finance, as my brother went over in the last video, this is one of the farms that we are looking at right now as kind of a safe haven. It's a little bit risky compared to uh, some of the bigger cap coins like Link or ETH or, you know, uh, ADA. But 0% deposit fee over here at 243% APR and ROA of 0.67%. It's pretty juicy, not gonna lie. I have $6,800 in the farm right now with almost $50 to harvest today. So that's pretty good. We're gonna harvest that. The crystal token, it's been fluctuating a lot lately, uh, but I do think it has found a bottom near $1.20 to $1.80. So anything in that range is uh, pretty good uh, to stack up rewards and sometimes you want to hold it and wait for a little bit higher price to sell it or you can bring it over here to the crystal matic farm at 953 percent apr um, you can come over to the pools and you can also auto stake your crystal or manually stake it at some really really high rates over here i haven't been staking mine but that's always an option you can do with rewards is throw it into the staking pool and hopefully accumulate more rewards over time. But I'm trying to build up uh, some positions in other coins. As I mentioned, Solana dot uh, link as well. Link, I think is gonna rebound really well. Uh, it's one of the best projects out there, um, but Polycrystal. So Banana ETH, pretty good pretty good harvest so far as I've been in here for only about five days but I've been getting about 50 to 75 dollars per day with only 6800 dollars that's probably one of the better paying farms that I've been in lately as most farms have took a hit uh, with the price tips as to be expected APRs are down across the board but this one's still paying out pretty good Reaper Farms over here on Reaper Farms. I'm in three crypts still FTM BTC, FTM Sushi, and FTM Curve. Let's take a look at the stats. FTM BTC historical profits of $397. Let's take a look. FTM BTC. I uh, came into the farm with 0.1 BTC, 10,600 FTM, and currently almost at 0.1 BTC and 13,000 FTM. So I've gained about 2,500 FTM and haven't lost any Bitcoin. So the crypt is doing pretty well, I must say. Buying at every level, every 15 minutes. And in my opinion, uh, Crypts are one of the best places uh, you can be right now if you want to accumulate some um, some of your favorite tokens. So, FTM Sushi, I haven't been in this one as long um, as I moved from the Waka LPs to the Spooky LPs about a week ago, but $98 in historical profits, I'm getting about $8 per day. But again, we'll check it out. Sushi came into with 311 sushi and 9,943 FTM and we're at 309 sushi and 10,415 FTM so gained about 500 FTM and only lost two sushi so looks like we're doing pretty uh, pretty well on the sushi on the sushi front I'll probably stick in there and just to keep uh, accumulating until I'm you know up on both tokens and the value just keeps on increasing as sushi actually has been recovering pretty well if we go over to ftm curve ftm curve we came into it with 1858 curve and 12738 ftm as you can see 
I'm up about almost 70 curve and also up about 1500 phantom so I think curve overall has done the best uh, in the reaper crypt so far as I'm up almost $500 in historical profit and 353.89 LP tokens uh, this one's gaining about $11.45 per day and again buying at every level every 15 minutes it's just going to keep buying keep accumulating and we'll see uh, how high these can go in the future but we're going to stick in here TVL has increased a little bit back over 8 million so Reaper doing well one thing I did want to show you guys is the RPC for Phantom I was using was uh, going a little slow so there's a new tool that you can throw into your network uh, settings here if you go to Phantom you can change it to rpc.ftm.tools and it chooses it basically puts you in uh, whatever RPC will be the most effective at that time so it's kind of um, spreading out the user base to different RPCs and making the network a lot better. So if you do put this in, don't forget you have to put the HTTPS semicolon slash slash before the RPC.FTM.Tools. So if you do come over to RPC.FTM.Tools website, it kind of goes through some stats. It goes through the nodes so it aims to provide a fast and reliable RPC gateway to the Phantom Network. Um, so I think this is going to really help out the Phantom Network as I don't think any other chains really have something like this. So I think for new users, new users in general, uh, this will make it a lot easier to use Phantom Network as they won't have to mess with different R RPCs in the settings one-stop shop for RPCs on Phantom. All right, guys, and don't forget to join Popsicle Finance on Discord and make sure you're keeping up on the announcements uh, as they announce everything here. Also, mostly on Twitter as well, but <clears throat> this has a specific announcements channel. And keep an eye out on Sorbetto Limone coming out on Phantom Network probably in the next few weeks as we got this tweet today from Daniel McDonald uh, now is time for Sir Beto Limone Ice FTM and FTM Mim fire so as you can see it should be coming out pretty soon uh, you know you got the memes already let's fucking go all right, guys, looking at BTC one more time before we get out of here. We got our triangle here. We got BTC. Tried to break down out of it, but trying to push back in. Let's see what it does. But I'm hoping we can hold here tomorrow, push back up and hopefully break out above 45,000 and test up the 46 or the 36,000 region one more time and maybe even by the end of the month be back up to 40,000 that will push all the alts up as they've already been uh, outgaining BTC in the last few days as they've been making some significant moves up to the upside um, as we see today, we have some above 10, 20, 40 percent, and we're looking for those to make some significant moves up here in the next rally up. So that's it for today, guys. We'll see you next time on Barry Bros Cryptos.